This is 100 items and this is me, Pete Z. Wow, that rhymed. <laughs> That was so bad. And I've set a challenge where I have to flip 100 items in 100 hours. But I won't be doing this alone. I'm going to be versing the king flipper in Canada, Get Gooder, to see who can flip more items in 100 hours. How about with all the profits you earn from flipping all your items, you have to then send the money to the winner. So you lose all your money. Deal? <laughs> And just like that, it was time to officially start the timer of 100 hours. And you're probably thinking, where do we get the items? Well, Facebook Marketplace. That is the biggest scam website with a bunch of randomness on it, even some strange things. Singing Anna Doll, Sex in the City Box. I was after some certain toys. Neptune Blanket Weighted Toy for Sleep. Why is this in the sex toy section? <laughs> Okay, let's be real. We are not going to flip items through there. The best spot to go into is the obvious free items. Now, you guys have seen me do that. And I've got to try and message, I think, about 300 people to even try and get 100 different items. So normally in the past, I've realized that coffee tables are very good. So I'm going to message this person. These are my custom messages. I need this, please, today. The king of flipping. <laughs> I messaged over a hundred people on Facebook Marketplace with easily a hundred different items and a bunch of responses, but one stuck out to me, which was a free push mower, and they were apparently going to dispose of it in the next 40 minutes. With three minutes left, we actually made it. Are you here for the mower? Yeah, yeah. This surely has to fit. <laughs> this thing is huge. What? Fits like a glove. Right now, I've got one thing to do, and that's to take a massive... God damn! So right now we've received that many different messages through Facebook Marketplace. We seem to be the most popping person in this state. <laughs> I then went ahead and picked up another eight items in the quickest time possible. Right now we have a little bit over 10 items. There's not unlimited free items on Facebook Marketplace. As much as I can pretend there is, there really isn't. So to try and get to 100 items, we've got to get desperate. Which means us going to thrift stores and actually paying for items so that we can flip it for, you know, 10% profit. Even if it's even, I'm still at least selling an item. In just two and a half hours, we travel to four thrift stores. We're about to spend a lot of money here. <laughs> which we then picked up eight toys. 22 towels, 22 cushions, and a bunch of other items which, believe me, this will make me money. Bless all these items that we have because they smell like horse shit. Right now, we currently have 52 different items, and yes, that includes children's toys that were from the 1970s, which probably someone died with. So you're probably thinking, why so many towels, why so many pillows, and why so many teddy bears? Now, the thing is, we can flip these items for around a 200 to 300% profit. If I only paid 50 cents to $2 per towel, pillow, or toy. There's no way of losing out of this. Hey Tyler, how's it going, man? It's the first day and I currently have 52 items. You're not gonna beat me. It's unfortunate you're gonna be an owl. It's time to send it to him. He needs to experience defeat. I told him, he's a nice guy, but nice guys finish last. Oh boy, the dingus has sent me a video message. Let's hope he doesn't just talk complete smack. No wonder you have 52 items because it looks like you got them all from your grandma. I've got 11 items, but they're probably <laughs> More than the entire 52 item collection. He's got 12 items. You cannot be serious. As much as I've already won, I wanted to win by even more and get the 100 items. So I realized the best way to do this was to go to random people's nature strips and pick up whatever items I could, which was a lot. And then just as I thought I was done for the day, I found something crazy. Yo, there's no way. Wait. What? Holy balls. Yeah, that's your sneak peek for now. <laughs> but that did wrap up the night and I found another 19 items, which was 71 in total for the first day. So I messaged an old man last night on Facebook Marketplace because he listed a GoPro suction cup for free. And I was thinking in my head, this guy's got to be joking. He's too old to even know what a suction cup is. So I messaged him and I was like, yo, is this free? And sure enough, he responded very early in the morning with his address and then proceeded to tell me that there was a bunch of other people coming at the same time. This dude really just doesn't care. <laughs> like, I don't even know if he's even home. He left it right here. It's actually, it is quite new.
new, crap. At least I was the first one to get it. If I missed out on this, this is easy profit. <laughs> With 77 hours left, I needed to find 29 items as quick as possible. And by doing that, I needed to go back to the thrift stores. <laughs> when I went there, I picked up four towels, 10 cushions, 12 tea towels, and three other items, which I think will sell for a lot of money. So I'm gonna show you guys the best items I found out of the 100 items we have. The first one is a simple towel. Now you're probably thinking, well, why are you showing me a towel? No one cares about a towel. But in fact, I actually have 32 towels, which I'm gonna be selling for $3 each. <laughs> I also got a bunch of teddy bears because you guys know they sell. So I ended up getting six of them and I'm going to sell them for $5 each. We got a Kobe Bryant LA Lakers jersey for a kid. Personally, I'm a Kobe Bryant shooter. I love Kobe, rest in peace. And we're going to sell it for $10. This one's almost an instant sell. It is a Wilson tennis racket. I'm going to try and sell this for $10. So someone, please just hit me over the head if I don't sell it. This baby seat right here. I'm going to sell this for $5. I was also getting a bunch of these detailed pillows for your couch. And I was buying them for $2. I'm going to be selling them for $4. I actually saw all four of these items on someone's nature strip. And I was thinking, there's no way that these items actually work. I was right. Once I press this button, mm. you'll hear it. Critical battery, please charge. So I tried to charge it. Mm. Critical battery, please charge. <laughs> Obviously this doesn't work, but we're still gonna try and sell it. I think you could still fix it. And I'm selling it for $5. And this one's pretty funny. It's a million cologne. Now I have a million cologne, but I know there's a lot of fake ones. And this is also only like half so I'm gonna try and sell it on Facebook Marketplace for $8. So let's see if people buy it. I then listed the remainder of the items and very quickly we started receiving a lot of messages and actually sold the million cologne. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? It's pretty much actually more than half full. So you're getting a good deal on this. <laughs> No, it smells really good. You'll like it. Thank you, man. And right after that, I received a message for the fish tank, which someone is gonna come pick up right now. <laughs> is this too small? No, because I feel bad <laughs> if it's too small. I'll still take it. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you so much. And then the last and final sale was surprisingly for the bike lock, which someone came very late at night. So I figured out the, the code okay. so you can actually unlock it. It's 4135. Is it pulling? No. This was embarrassing because I forgot the pin for the bike lock. So I had to go inside and get my brother to help me because I'm <laughs> stupid and didn't know how to fix this. When you put the code, you're meant to put it next to that thing there. I got a small change. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Woo! Okay, we've got 52 hours left. It's currently day three, and we are rocking the Kobe, Kobe Bryant LA Lakers jersey. Because you all obviously know we have the kids' Kobe Bryant jersey, and there was a bunch of people messaging me about it. And we're actually getting one person to pick it up right now. Hello, how are you? Clearly a fan. Yeah, yeah. Do you like Kobe, Kobe Bryant? That's good. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. I've only flipped four items, and you probably think, how are you gonna sell 96 more items? Now, this is where things get juicy. Yeah, I am strange. <laughs> right now, we have a girl named Helen who is gonna come and pick up 15 towels off us. Which ones would you like? Just like the white ones. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one. And just like that, 15 towels are sold. That's the easiest profit of my life. I'm loving this. Now, I also got another message from Warrup. Warupa. Wai Raupa. Or I could just say Wai. We got a message from Wai basically saying that she wanted to buy 12 of our tea towels and three of our large towels. But the thing is, Wai wanted it posted off. So she sent me $33 for all the items and then $20 for postage fees. I'll tell you what, she must work at the post office because it was exactly $19.85. I don't know how she just did that. <laughs> Everything seems like it's going good right now, but in fact, so that's completely incorrect because for hours and hours I received absolutely no messages and had no luck. I was even fighting with teddy bears and smashing those cushions that we had in the garage. But finally I was saved and got a message from Pal and she wanted nine large towels which we had to deliver straight to her door. She's just staring at me through the window. What is she doing? Is she gonna come or what? That's it? Yeah. Thank you very much. 
Have a good one. See ya. And now that's 43 we have sold. And then surprisingly, someone wanted to buy that broken speaker off me, so I had to quickly rush home and hope this isn't just a kidnapping. Critical battery. So that's what it does. You'll be able to fix it. Yeah? Okay. Well, this is a good discount anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was so awkward. Oh, we want to wear jerseys today. Okay. Yeah, I actually almost have 100 items. <laughs> There's currently 27 hours left. And to be honest with you, I have nothing set up. I have nothing planned for today. Think about it. I've got 29 of those. I paid $2 per pillow and they're not even selling for $1. And now it's time to put it to 50 cents. I also did that with the rest of the items and also offered free delivery to their house. And boy, that worked because one person purchased a doormat for $1 and then the second person purchased a mouse and a keyboard. I got 22 hours left. I'm on my final day and I think I may be taking the L. As you can see, I'm wearing an L t-shirt. Obviously, I'm playing mind games and I think I'm still gonna win against Get Loser. It's a simple W. In <laughs> fact, we have a very loyal customer. That lady just then actually messaged me when I left and wanted to purchase six of those cushions for 50 cents each. Thank you very much. Do you have a bird that comes here? Because it was a bird that tried to attack me before. <laughs> Yeah, there was a big one. <laughs> See you, man. So we've sold 53 items and have 19 hours left. Now, how we're going to do this is going to be remarkable, but we've still got time. You never know. Anything can happen. That's why we still have an L. That's the motivation, is to not lose to get loser. We've just sold eight items, okay? This is pure luck. This isn't me. This is luck. <laughs> we've sold six teddy bears. Thank you. Thank you. Are you good to hold that? You can take that? All right, thank you. And then we've sold the Jenga and then <laughs> the lawnmower clippings. Hello, I'm here to mow your lawns. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Have a good one. <laughs> the challenge is officially over. You are gonna laugh at what I'm about to tell you. So obviously we sold $148 worth of items, okay? We spent $144.50. So we made $3.50 of all our items that we sold, which is 61 items. And then I had to FaceTime Tyler and hear the results. You did a countdown. One. 61. Wait. You did 94. 94, man. Hey everyone, check out Tyler's perspective in the description down below and comment Pete is still better than you. Money.